Hi and a very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are doing good and preparing well for your upcoming examinations. I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247, whereby on a regular basis, we discuss the current financial happenings around us. So what do we have for today? So today we are going to discuss three very important news article. The first talks about the introduction of a regulatory framework by SEBI for providing assistance to the online bond platform providers. The second news talks about the approval that has been given by RBI to the amalgamation of two banks. Now, this approval or the amalgamation is important for specifically for your phase one finance current affairs. And third is Union Bank of India, which recently celebrated its foundation day and the various products, innovative products and services that it has launched for the upcoming years. So let's get started with the very first news that is the regulatory framework that has been introduced by SEBI, the market regulator, the capital market regulator SEBI in order to provide assistance to the online bond platforms. Now, this online bond platforms providers are the one, are the persons who provides the customers, the investors with the platform to trade or to buy and sell fixed income securities, specifically bonds, bonds or debt instruments. Now, this bonds or debt instruments could be your government securities, could be corporate bonds, could be any other kinds of debentures. Why are these called fixed income securities? For the simple reason that they give the investors to earn a fixed interest payment on that bond. So if you are a holder of the bond of, or if you are the bond holder, then you receive a fixed interest payment as return. And after the expiry of the bond period, after that, you receive the repayment of the total amount that you have invested in the bond. So this becomes a very safe instrument if we talk about and apart from that, people also get tax exemption benefits under the Income Tax Act. So usually SEBI ki jo platforms hai, for example, SEB, for example, BSC ho gaya, NSC ho gaya, even RBI Direct, all of these platforms provide you with the platform to or with the facility to trade or to buy and sell the bonds in India. Apart from that, there are other private platforms in India as well. Now, in order to regulate these platforms and to provide the, provide the investors with the sense of confidence that these platforms or these platform providers are regulated by SEBI, that's the reason why that SEBI has introduced this regulatory framework. Simple. Now, this regulatory framework has already been effective from November 9, 2022. And in order to give effect to this regulatory framework, SEBI had to do certain amendments. And this amendment has been done in the issue and listing of non-convertible securities regulation 2021. So this becomes important. Kiss Act ko amend karke is regulatory framework ko laya gaya hai. It is none other than your non-convertible securities. I have talked about the reason why in order to boost confidence into the investors, specifically the retail investors, retail investors such as the non-institutional investors, investors like we and you, the private, the normal human, right? The non-institutional investors, investors who are not institution like the banks or any other financial institutions and therefore it will give a sense that these platforms are SEBI regulated platforms or intermediaries. So this is the reason why this framework has been introduced. Moving forward, what are the new rules that has been introduced under this regulatory framework? So there is no such new rules. The only rule is that any online bond platform provider is there, then that online platform provider needs to take registration or needs to obtain registration from SEBI. And for that purpose, such online bond platform providers will have to register themselves as a stock broker with 
सेबी तो सेबी के साथ उनको खुद को रजिस्ट्रेशन करनी है एंड दैट रजिस्ट्रेशन शुड बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ स्टॉक ब्रोकर एंड देयर बाय दे विल बी सेबी रेगुलेटेड इंटरमीडियरीज दैट इज प्रोवाइडिंग यू विद द फैसिलिटी विद द प्लेटफॉर्म टू ट्रेड और बाय एंड सेल इन्वेस्टमेंट्स दैट इज ऑफ फिक्स नेचर दैट इज बॉन्ड्स एंड डिबेंचर्स right so no person would act as an online bond platform provider unless it has received registration as a stock broker from sebi now and apart from that such person such a person who has received the registration for sebi needs to comply with all the conditions with all the rules and regulations that has been set up that has been set up by sebi or will be set up by sebi from time to time apart from that now a question might be coming to your mind and what about those online bond platform that are working now for that person for those platform providers sebi has given a relief period of 3 months so 3 months ki grace period mili hai now these platforms are allowed to continue the continue the object continue the practice of being a being an online bond provider bond platform provider for 3 months from the date of issuance so it was issued on 9th 9th of november 9th of november plus 3 months will be provided to them so that they can undertake the process of registration from sebi within this period and their activities are not hampered because of the new regulation that has been brought forward simple moving forward now experts have given a lots of views on this so what could be the likely benefits the first and foremost is the development of the fixed income securities market as we have bsc and nsc that has developed the secondary market or the market for the equities similarly such kind of regulation or such kind of regulatory approval regulatory framework will provide a will provide an era will provide an arena for the fixed income market and securities so that this could be developed all together and thereby it could boost the confidence of the investors that these intermediaries are regulated by sebi and their money are in the safe hands apart from that what could be the other likely benefits the other likely benefits would be clearance of doubt or transparency so there is going to be transparency how transparency because now the retailer retail investors or the non institution investors would be satisfied that that the person or the counterparty to whom from whom they are selling or purchasing the bonds are of a re- reliable nature because such platforms are regulated by sebi apart from that there will be no doubt as to who is handling their investments now you must be thinking that mutual funds bhi hain uh, mutual funds ke through bhi hum investment karte hain but in mutual funds the 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 mutual fund regulator or the mutual funds are done through by pulling off investments by pulling off resources right here in this case you are investing in certain kind of bonds only suppose aap government securities mein invest kar rahe ho ya koi bhi corporate bond aaye hain usme directly invest kar rahe ho आप किसी पूल ऑफ फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट नहीं कर रहे हो एंड दिस इज द बेनिफिट दैट इज बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड बाय सच प्लेटफॉर्म्स राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द अनरेगुलेटेड मार्केट सो व्हिच मार्केट आर दे टॉकिंग अबाउट सो दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस ऑनलाइन बॉन्ड प्लेटफॉर्म मार्केट नाउ दिस मार्केट डज नॉट हैव एनी एंट्री बैरियर्स एज ऑफ नाउ कोई एंट्री बैरियर्स नहीं थी देयरफॉर इन्वेस्टर्स हैज अ डाउट और देयर वाज अ लैक ऑफ ट्रांसपेरेंसी एज टू विथ हूम दे आर With whom they are trading the bonds. So counterparty कौन है ये नहीं पता चलता था But since SEBI will be regulating it, SEBI will be maintaining a list of the parties involved in the bond transaction. Thereby there will be more transparency into the market. Simple था बहुत ही I hope you have understood it. Now let's talk about certain definitions. so in this regulatory framework sebi has defined the online bond platform as any electronic platform koi bhi electronic platform ho sakta hai and such electronic platforms are apart from the recognized stock exchanges in india to so, jitne bhi stock exchanges hai uske alawa koi bhi electronic platform ho sakta hai which provides 
or which provides you with the facility of trading the debt securities. Securities that provides you with a fixed income in the form of fixed interest rates periodically and the repayment of your total investment after the expiry of the debt that you that you have invested in simple to isko hum bolenge online bond platform it is any platform except then a recognized stock exchange and you can also call such platforms as electronic book provider platform simple second now who is the electronic bond platform provider so it is any person who is operating or providing such a platform such a facility will be known as the provider of the of the online bond platform simple and if we talk about certain online bond platform providers in india then we have bonds india similarly we have golden pie bonds card etc etc apart from that such online platform is rbi direct as well right and they provide uh, they provide investments in government securities government securities may provide karti hai rbi direct so these are some of the examples now all of this will be brought under the ambit of sebi to ye sebi regulated ho jayegi right the market will become more formal in nature moving forward talking about the next news so this news is important specifically for you to remember the names ki kis bank ke sath amalgamation hui hai and which has received the approval of rbi now this bank cosmos cooperative bank is very important here because it is this bank that it has done the 16th amalgamation so ye jo amalgamation hai between श्री शारदा सहाकारी बैंक ऑफ पुणे महाराष्ट्र इज इज द सिक्सटीन टाइम दैट द कॉस्मोस बैंक इज गेटिंग एमालगमेटेड तो इस एमालगमेशन में सिक्सटीन टाइम है फॉर दिस कॉस्मोस कोऑपरेटिव बैंक एंड सच एमालगमेशन वॉज ब्रॉट फॉरवर्ड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वेन आर बी आई टॉक्ड अबाउट मर्जिंग दिस स्मॉल बैंक इन लार्जर बैंक सो दैट these banks do not undergo losses and there could be better implementation of the policy now if we talk about this shri sharda sahakari bank limited so this bank was of a sound nature still it was amalgamated into the cosmos bank cosmos cooperative bank for the simple reason that the cosmos cooperative bank was providing facilities such as internet banking whatsapp banking so the so this bank the shri sharda sahakari bank wanted that their customers the customers of sharda bank to get the benefits of these internet banking facilities and whatsapp banking facilities insurance services from the cosmos cooperative bank so cosmos cooperative bank in total has seven branches all over india now the customers of sahakari bank can get access to any of the online transactions facility through this seven branches of the cooperative bank cosmos cooperative bank so the name is important aapko name acche se yaad rakhna hai it is cosmos cooperative bank situated in pune maharashtra right and with effect from october 30 all the branches of shri sharda sahakari bank will be merged or will function as the branches of the cosmos cooperative bank सेवन इनके खुद के ब्रांचेस हैं और सिक्सटीन टाइम है जब इसमें एमालगमेशन हो रही है सो देर विल बी लॉट्स ऑफ ब्रांचेस देन एंड द ब्रांचेस दैट सहाकारी बैंक हैज दिस विल आल्सो बी एडेड अप टू द ब्रांचेस ऑफ द कॉस्मोस बैंक ब्रिंगिंग अराउंड द ब्रांचेस ऑफ कॉस्मोस बैंक टू अराउंड वन टू वन ट्वेंटी के अराउंड इनके ब्रांचेस हो जाएंगे इनके खुद के इंडिजिनस कितने हैं वो है सेवन तो सिंपल न्यूज था बस आपको ये याद रखना है कि कॉस्मोस कोऑपरेटिव बैंक हैज एमलगमेटेड वन मोर बैंक इनटू इनटू इट्स ऑपरेशन इनटू इट्स फंक्शन एंड आरबीआई हैज बीन प्रोवाइडिंग अप्रूवल अंडर सेक्शन 44 ए रेड विद सेक्शन 56 ऑफ द बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट अगर सेक्शन ना भी याद हो ये आपको जरूर याद होना चाहिए कि जब भी एमलगमेशन या ऐसी कोई चीज होती है 
So in order to give effect to such amalgamation, in order to provide approval, RBI has to, RBI derives its powers from the Banking Regulation Act, not the RBI Act of 1934. RBI Act se nahi apni powers derive karte. It derives from the Banking Regulation Act of 1949 and other act amended from time to time. Moving forward to the third news. The third news talks about Union Bank of India coming up with lots of innovative financial products during its 104th Foundation Day. So Union Bank of India, which is the fifth largest public sector bank in India, was established on 11th November 1919. As you all know, if I talk about one of the phase one question, the question could be, uh, which day is celebrated as a National Education Day? So it is 11th November. So 11th November is, is celebrated as a National Education Day. Apart from that, uh, apart from that, it is that day on which the Union Bank of India was established, and its first head office that was there in Mumbai, it was inaugurated by Mahatma Gandhi. So this is the first. So this is the bank whose first head office in Mumbai was inaugurated by Mahatma Gandhi. Now, for you, there is a task. You need to tell me in which year that Union Bank, the Bank of Andhra and Corporation Bank were merged into Union Bank. So, here you have to tell me, right? And this you should know any kind of mergers done for the public sector members. Kuch bohat hi large mergers huye the, that you should remember. This will be very much helpful, specifically from your phase one perspective. Theke? And recently, 11th November, ko fir, inhone apni 104th Foundation Day celebrate kiya hai. This is a very, very, very important news. 104th year hai. And there are chances that such questions from this could be asked in the examination, right? And on this very occasion, the Union Bank launched one of its super app known as Union Beyond app. Ab isko super app kyun bola ja raha hai? Because apart from the traditional banking services of providing loans and accepting deposits, they are providing some new kinds of services. Conventional ko chhod ke, conventional ke alawa, they are providing you with the digital services. Apart from that, they are also providing with a lots of new services such as retail, uh, retaking up of any retail loans, MSME loans, insurance products. So all of these facilities, apart from that, providing you to make investments in 5,000 plus mutual fund schemes. So all of these are pro provided in one app known as a Union Veom app. And that's the reason why it is known as the one-stop solution for all kinds of the financial products. Iske alawa, they are not only providing the banking services, be it digital, be it conventional. Apart from that, they are also provided, providing bill services. For example, if you want to uh, book a flight, book a train or hotels or gift cards or caps or you want to provide some donation to certain organization, all of these could be done using the Union Beyond app. Jaise aapka Paytm hai, right? Through Paytm, you can invest in SIPs and mutual funds, you can book flight tickets, train tickets, hotels book kar sakte ho, movies book kar sakte ho, all of these lifestyle category products as well as uh, banking products which are more innovative in nature, all of these will be provided through this Union Veom app. Theek hai? Simple. Moving forward, so apart from this Union Veom app, the Union Bank of India has also launched certain other products. Ab unke naam aapke liye bhoot important ho jayenge, yaad rakhne ke liye, kyunki exam mein directly aapse poocha ja sakta hai that what is this Union Spursh app or Union Spursh product is meant for. Then you should be known that, knowing that this Union Spursh is nothing but a touch debit card. So, this is a touch debit card hai that has been specifically designed for the visually impaired persons. So, all those persons who are visually impaired, unke liye touch debit card provide kiya gaya hai, right? So that by using the feature of touch, by touching the card only, they can uh, make use of this debit card. Apart from that, Union Muskan. Muskan is clear. Hai. It talks about uh, students or children's 
दैट आर इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ जीरो टू एटीन ईयर्स तो इनके लिए है सो दैट दे केन ओपन अप एनी काइंड ऑफ जीरो बैलेंस सेविंग्स अकाउंट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस जीरो बैलेंस सेविंग अकाउंट दे कैन ऑल्सो दे विल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड द फैसिलिटी ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ इंश्योरेंसेस बे टर्म इंश्योरेंस एक्सीडेंटल डेथ इंश्योरेंस या फिर एस एम एस बैंकिंग एंड इवन इफ द चाइल्ड ग्रोज देन एट दैट टाइम दे विल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड यू विद एजुकेशन लोन ऑन कंसेशनल बेसिस सो इफ चिल्ड्रन आर हैविंग दिस यूनियन मुस्कान यूनियन मुस्कान जीरो बैलेंस सेविंग अकाउंट दैन दे विल भी गेटिंग एजुकेशनल लोन एट कंसेशनल रेट्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ये जो जितने भी सर्विसेज हैं जिनके लिए नॉर्मल कमर्शियल बैंक चार्जेस सर्टन इंटरेस्ट सच एस एस एम एस बैंकिंग एन ई एफ टी आई एम पी एस जो प्रोवाइड करती हैं बैंक बैंक चार्ज सर्टन इंटरेस्ट बट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स वो चिल्ड्रेन हुए ओपन अंडर द यूनियन मुस्कान नो इंटरेस्ट विल बी चार्ज टू दैम सो इट विल बी एट नो कॉस्ट सिंपल नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज यूनियन चैनल फाइनेंस सो नाम से ही क्लियर है इट विल प्रोवाइड फाइनेंस रिलेटेड सर्विसेस और फाइनेंसिंग सोल्यूशन to the dealers so all kinds of intermediaries will be receiving financing option or financing solution under the union channel finance moving forward next is union dg sahaj sahaj ka kya hai yahan pe you will get an online platform so that you can open up any kind of any saving up account instantly matlab aapko bank nahi jana by going online only you can open up a saving account for yourself or for any member of your family and the last is union saras now this saras is very important sabse pehle aapko saras ka full form pata hona chahiye what is the full form the full form stands for stressed assets recovery automated solution theek hai stressed asset recovery automated solution so this is an app or this is a feature by using which you can undertake or you can get early resolution of any kind of uh, stressed assets so stress assets aapko pata hi hai kya hote hain nps jo ban jate hain these are known as stress assets we've already talked about them now so this app or this portal has been developed so that it can provide early resolution and effective management of these stress assets that banks are having and apart from that it can it will also provide end to end processing or automation so end to end automated processing will be done for all recovery and legal proceedings to so, ye banks ke liye specifically designed kiya gaya hai right so that any kind of stress assets could be effectively managed and it can also provide an early resolution to this banks simple moving forward तो ये थी तीन न्यूज जो मैं आपके साथ डिस्कस करना चाह रही थी अगेन आई एम आई एम प्रेसिंग इट डाउन दैट यू शुड रीड दिस प्रॉपरली बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द यूनियन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया जो इन्होंने अभी फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स लॉन्च किए हैं स्पेसिफिकली यूनियन सैरस राइट एंड दिस यूनियन स्पर्श ठीक है तो यूनियन स्पर्श को भी आप याद कर लेना सिंपल लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टू द क्वेश्चन so questions that we have for today are first the question says recently sebi introduced a regulatory framework to facilitate providers of online bond platforms that are selling listed debt securities so sebi ne introduce kiya regulatory framework now to give this effect which of the following regulation of sebi was amended to so, aapko yahan pe panch options hai you need to mark the correct answer moving forward to the next question the question says according to the recent regulatory framework introduced by sebi for online bond platform providers what is the maximum time period within which a person or the provider of this online bond platform can act as an online bond platform provider without registration certificate so all those online bond platform provider that are providing or are proposing to provide certain kind of debt securities on its platform can provide the facility without the registration from sebi for a specific time period now that time period you need to identify from the given options very simple question moving forward to the next question which says which of the following bank received the approval of rbi to amalgamate shri sharda saha 
सहकारी बैंक पुणे महाराष्ट्र वेरी सिंपल अब देखो यहाँ पे आपको कंफ्यूजन यहाँ होगी इफ यू हैव नॉट रेड द न्यूज प्रॉपरली अगर आपने पढ़ाई नहीं है एंड सेकेंडली इफ यू नॉट रेड इट प्रॉपरली देन यू एंड आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल फेस वेरी मच डिफिकल्टी इन मार्किंग द करेक्ट आंसर एट वॉन्स क्योंकि यहाँ पे एज यू कैन सी कॉन् अगर आपको पता भी चल जाता है कि कॉस्मोस है नाउ यू विल फेस डिफिकल्टी इन ऑप्शन सी एंड डी बिकॉज दीज आर वेरी क्लोजली रिलेटेड टू इच अदर राइट Next question for you. The question says, which of the following product is recently launched by the Union Bank of India on its one zero fourth foundational day to provide touch debit card that is specifically designed for the visually impaired persons? Very simple. अभी मैंने आपको explain किया था. Now moving forward to the last question for today, which says, which of the following products recently launched by the Union Bank of India for early resolution? an effective management of stressed assets having end to end processing automation of all recovery and legal proceedings so kaun sa isme se newly or recently launched product hai ubi ka that is meant for the stressed assets jo bhi hai you need to know the full form as well theek hai ab in panch questions ko questions ke answers aapko comment section mein provide karne hain this is going to help you if you write it down in the comment section first you will remember for a longer period of time secondly this shows that you have understood whatever has been taught to you in the section so this was all for today the answers are also shared here and in case of any doubt you can always write it down in the comment section or if, if you can even make use of our telegram as well as the discussion forum so this was all for today i hope you enjoyed the session and keep learning till then take care and bye bye